Hello, this is Swati Mari and topic of today's discussion is when to use model based reflex based agent architecture. The agent's choice is dominated by two factors. One is speeds description and other one is analysis of properties of task environment. The task environment is defined as the environment in which the agent is supposed to work. We have to choose from five choices of the agent architectures. The model based agent architecture contains information on how the world evolves irrespective of the agent and how the agent's actions can affect the environment. The goal based and utility based agent architectures, they also have model information inherent inside them. As we move on from table driven to utility based agent architecture, the level of sophistication of the agent solution goes on increasing. The question is when to use model based simple reflex agent. So one of the point is when the environment is fully observable, it is deterministic, it is static, episodic, discrete and single agent, one can certainly go for model based simple reflex agent. Here as well, the agent is not supposed to work on its own rather than it is supposed to react to the reflexes. For every reflex, there will be an action predefined in the action condition table. Wherein, the single percept, if it is not enough to choose the action, one can use the model based agent architecture. To help with that, the agent has the model information which is nothing but how the world evolves independent of the agent and how the agent's actions affect the world. So, single percept plus the unseen part of the world which is given with the model can help it decide the action to be performed in this particular situation. So, it is useful when a quick automated response that is reflex action is needed with understanding of how the task environment works. Given the schematic diagram of model based reflex agents, we have an environment wherein the agent is supposed to work. The environment is sensed through the sensors and it gives a partial information on what the world is like right now, but it may not be enough. So we take part of the information from this to maintain an internal state. Then the information on the model that is how the world evolves and what my actions do. So all these three things combinedly plus the sensors information gives this information on what the world is like right now. Once we decide over the worldly state, it is matched against the condition action rules and we get the first action which matches with the given state. If there are multiple actions for the same condition, then we do not get the different actions, but every time it will choose the first action that matches with the condition action rule, which is given to the what action I should do now and through that to the actuators and this is how the agent will perform some action on the environment. Let us take an example of agent as a match referee. Herein the match referee is not supposed to do anything on his or her own. Instead wait for the players to perform and then accordingly give the actions. So herein the percepts could be the points won by team players, misconduct by the players, the timers that is nothing but strategic timeout or the predefined time for the entire duration of match could be the percepts. The agent can perform either of the following actions. The list is not complete though. Announce points won by the team players, give warnings and then be an interface for the review communications between team and the third umpire. These could be some of the condition action rule examples. If the player or players kick another player, then it's a misconduct. The information given in the model of the world will define the severity levels of the misconduct. So if it is a simple one, then give warning. If it is little serious, then give a yellow card. And if it is very much serious, then the player should be given a red card. So to summarize, the model based reflex agent is nothing but table lookup of condition action pairs which define all possible condition action rules. 
it is little adaptive to the changes in the environment so if there is any new change then we would require the model information be updated and also some entries in the condition action rules would have to be updated to bring in the change in the agent's actions choice the problems in this case table is too big to generate and to store for example a complex environment such as taxi driver as an agent it may take very long to build the entire table sometimes it may loop that is nothing but if we require the multi level conditions be given then we cannot do that in this particular agent architecture and though it is better than simple reflex based agent it is having very limited intelligence this is end of the video thank you